It's like riding a bike. It's like riding a bike. Been here before. Been here before. Um, head up. Keyword, or should I say words, is head up. Man, didn't see this coming. Didn't see this coming. I bet, I don't know, maybe some of you saw it coming, but man, this is a tough one. Tough break. Um, so, where to begin is the question. Basically, uh, let's see. I'm on crutches. Well, first of all, got back from Great Wolf Lodge this afternoon. That was a lot of fun, uh, wrapping it up with the family. But, you know, I was in pain down there, walking around the pool area. And basically, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'll start here. Three weeks ago, I asked this. I feel like right now I'm at a pretty good place with respect to balancing the training that needs to happen for the amount of racing that I hope to do. But in addition to honesty with our training, we've got to be honest with what? With our injuries. Oh, it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I've never really played like basketball and been injured as a basketball player. I've, I've never played any other sport. I've played other sports, but I've never been injured as an athlete in, an, in another sport. So as a, as a runner, though, I can really relate to anybody out there who is just struggling with injuries. And I'll admit, I'll be the first to admit, I've, uh, I've been known to push through injuries at times. Not saying it was the wisest decision ever. So it's kind of crazy. A day later, maybe two days later, after I published that vlog, I felt something in my foot. And I believe now, and remember it started in my big toe, I believe now that it probably was a hot spot. And what is a hot spot? It's basically a term you toss around with sports doctors or trainers, and it's the beginning of a stress fracture. Uh, so I have a stress fracture on the top of my foot, on the second second metatarsal. And it hurts like the dickens, you better believe it does. Um, you know, man, oh, <laughs> it's not good timing. It's not good at all. And we're not gonna talk about Cleveland tonight. We're not gonna talk about the future. We're not gonna talk about uh, what I think maybe went wrong in the training. But I just wanted to update you that that is what's going on. It's why I went into Walgreens today and, and Goodwill. Actually, looking on the bright side, and there's a couple bright sides here. Looking on the bright side, I went to I went to Walgreens, bought $50 crutches, and I'm like, oh, this is ridiculous. And sure enough, I was like, you know what? Uh, let's just go to Goodwill real quick. So I went to Goodwill, and of course, Walgreens did not have a boot. So I went, uh, I went to Goodwill, and I was like, they got to have maybe one pair of crutches boom five dollars so i just saved our family 45 dollars. that was pretty sweet and then i'm like there's no way they have a walking boot there's no way because walking boots the nice ones are over a hundred dollars and the one i found is actually a pretty nice one for five dollars as well so i just was like oh thank you for taking care of me because that you know it's like injuries throw you can derail your plans in a big way and so anyway uh, that's a little bright side from today, but listen, this is my 10th stress fracture of my life. And I guess I'll also mention this running channel is, it's more than just running shoe reviews. It's more than just how to run faster. It's more than race reports. It's my story. And I love sharing my story with all of you. And it sounds, it seems like a lot of you enjoy uh, the running, but that you also enjoy getting to know me, getting to know my family, getting to know like, what makes me tick, what makes me competitive, what gets me up into the mountains to pound out 20 miles. Like, I just love, anyway, it's like together, I think we are inspiring each other, motivating each other, keeping each other accountable to the tasks at hand, uh, giving each other ideas. And uh, along this journey in, in sharing my story, I'm not gonna be afraid to share the lows with you, right? It's nice to share the highs, Running, winning a race, the Cookie Chase 5K, which, by the way, I think this pain popped up. It was either, I think it was just before. I think it was just before, you know, looking back. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. But, um, so it's like there's highs and lows in this world, of, in this life, and beyond running, but also in running. And you know that with your training, you know that with your racing. Sometimes we hit PRs, sometimes we, you know, take first place, sometimes we, uh, we you know, get place in our age group. Sometimes it's just like, 
life is beautiful. It's beautiful. But there's 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 challenges. Like last year when I crashed and burned at the finish line, you know, chasing down this guy and uh, got cut off by the fence and went down and got some good road rash. Like that was a little bit of a low. I was I was in it for third place uh, battling this guy. So anyway, all I'm saying is um, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. And this is my 10th. Did I already say that? This is my 10th stress fracture, I think, right around there. I had a lot in college. I think eight in college, one in high school. Now, th now, now, another bright side. This is the first stress fracture I've had in 10 years. So since 2009, 2010, I haven't had a stress fracture. So I consider that a success. And I've been running quite a bit in the last four to five years, especially. Um, and so, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not happy, but I'm not like, I'm not beating myself up, not dis not overly distraught. I've actually, like yesterday when I realized this is not good after the workout, and you probably saw, like, yes, look at this clip right now. This is me finishing up the cool down after the threshold. I don't know if you can notice, but it's like something's wrong. Something was ginger in my foot, and I could feel it. And um, listen, we'll talk about as well like calculated risks and training. And we've talked a lot about that in the last two weeks, taking calculated risks. And um, so anyway, I don't. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll break that down at some point. Um, and just so you know, during my time at CU, I did take a bone density test. Like that's a lot of stress fractures that I've had. And if you've had stress fractures in your running career and you're willing to share your experience down below, like don't hesitate to share. I'd be really curious to read up on what other people have yeah, gone through with stress fractures. But I have had a bone density test done and it came back fine. Like I didn't have, you know, poor bone density. So with that said, like I, I don't have a question of the day. I was like, man, I just don't even know. I can't come up with one today. I just need to process this a little more and, uh, but, I will say this, I, I'm going to keep my head up. You know, you know I will. Like, there's what's the other option? Like, we're gonna we're gonna get through this. This too shall pass. We're gonna get through this. And uh, again, we'll talk about Cleveland, we'll talk about the future uh in future uh vlogs, but um I'm not gonna give up. If you don't give up on me, I'm not gonna give up on you. Alright? We're in this together and um yeah, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Mmm. Man, <laughs> crazy. Oh. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Mm. Oh. See you.